hello 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 welcome to our next chapter very baby chapter nothing important in this chapter in fact so that is your classification of imported and export goods okay so there are there are different different rules so first rule is two way that is classification of incomplete or unfinished articles so if the goods are incomplete if they are unfinished in such a case how do you classify them because the basis on which you classify will depend what rate of duty is applicable to them so they are trying to say that your heading includes incomplete or unfinished articles or unassembled article if it has essential characteristics of the main article so for example if your heading for example if your heading already has anything with regards to pen now if if you are importing if you are not importing a pen directly but you have imported the cap separately you have imported the body separately you, and you have imported the refill separately so in such a case these essentially are the pen only just that they are in an unassembled articles so all of these will still be classified as a pen only then your next rule is rule 2b that is mixtures combinations of material with other materials so they are saying that what what happens what happens if my if the thing that is mentioned is mentioned in the law that is pure and what i have is a mixture so heading includes your heading includes mixture of material with other materials also for example if 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 the heading says anything about coffee it will also include a mixture of coffee with chicory and the same heading will be applicable okay next is your rule 3 rule 3 talks about classification in case goods are classifiable under two headings so what happens what happens when goods are classified under two headings for example for example i have imported a spoon now this spoon comes under metal also and this spoon comes under utensils and kitchen kitchen applications also so in such a case which application do i put it in under which category do i put it in so you have to do two things first is your specific over general that means if the heading if there is a more specific heading applicable if there is a more specific heading available so in our case when you are importing a spoon the spoon you are not going to use as metal you are going to use as a kitchen appliance so therefore since you are going to use as a kitchen appliance or as a utensil that is a more specific heading so this will be classified under your utensils next is your essential character principle that means if it is a mixture composite goods will be classified as materials which give them their essential character which give them their main characteristic example lead pencil with eraser at top you remember you remember you have a pencil and on top you have an eraser So if there is a lead pencil with eraser at the top. Now this eraser might have a different heading, and this pencil might have a different heading. But this eraser comes with the pencil only. It is a combination. Both of these, it is a composite goods. So therefore, pencil is the essential characteristic, and the entire thing will be classified under pencil. And last, if if A, if you are not able to identify by A, you are not able to identify by B. This C is your totally useless, brainless method. if goods fall under two headings for example the heading number is 870 bracket 3 and 870 bracket 4 in such a case latter the better latter the better that means you will be choosing 874 because 874 comes after 873 okay and next rule is your rule 4 that is akin rule akin means similar akin means similar so classifying category in which they are most similar to if you are not able to find the category exactly for that goods find the category in which they are most similar to and last rule is with regards to your packaging material or your containers for example for example when you import spectacles if you import spectacles they will not just give you spectacles they will also give you a case so now you have to determine that this case this case that you have bought with the spectacle do you have to classify it with the spectacle or should you classify it as a separate category should you classify it under a separate heading which says something about plastic or something about packaging okay so if your packaging material or your container supplied with the main product is generally is generally supplied along with the good that means this good usually comes with the container itself in such a case for example this case that i gave you of course it comes with the container so since this container comes with the good usually the container also will be classified in the same headings as the good okay but for example for example if i am importing a guitar and this guitar's cover is gold made this cover is made out of gold 
Now, usually guitar has a cover, but it is not out of gold. So, what you are doing, you are trying to import, you are actually trying to import gold under a lower custom duty rate. So, in such a case, empty boxes or cases not usually supplied together or container with repeated uses. If the container has repetitive uses, example, your gas cylinder, your gas cylinder gets empty, then you give them the gas cylinder, they refill and they give it back to you. So, therefore, in such a case, in both these cases, the Packaging material will be classified independently. It will have a separate uh, heading. It will not be classified at the same condition as goods. Okay. And with this very, very easy chapter, we are done with this chapter and I will see you in the next chapter.